les jours, toutes les semaines. C'est comme un mirage. Un doux souvenir qui revient nous dire qu'il y avait une autre vie qui nous attendait. Qui nous attendait, qui nous attendait. La vie c'est ça, une suite de choix que l'on regrette des fois qui font notre histoire triste heureuse ou les deux à la fois. On cherche un sens à nos vies, entre nos envies et nos vices, avoir une fille ou un fils et l'éduquer. Un... This is uh, the Montreal Olympic Stadium. One of the worst decisions we ever did uh, as far as uh, making a building. We're still paying the debt of that stuff, so uh, as you can see, money is still being spent here. We're trying to save um, the stadium and make it a touristic attraction. So uh, let's go see what it's like from uh, up there. Are we gonna go somewhere high? Can we do something that's all? <laughs> hey, what's wrong, buddy? buddy. This, looks, this looks like a door. Eric. It does actually. It looks like you could open it. And you were standing right there. Uh-uh. Not at all. No, you're not yeah, my pal. All right, so we're at Olympic Park. We're in the Olympic Tower right now at the top. Um, this was obviously put here in 1976 for the Olympics. And the stadium below, Olympic Park is where, Olympic Stadium, excuse me, is where the uh, former Montreal Expos played, Major League Baseball. <laughs> Who's now the Washington Nationals? One time, Daryl Strawberry hit a hit a ball so high he hit the uh, roof of the uh, the dome, which is pretty sick. Well, it's cool because um, this um, telescope here can actually uh, go see in the people's apartment, like uh, see, steal my one of my friends, girlfriends. Yeah. Uh, right there. So, oh my God, who's that guy? Um, people know about the Habs, the Canadians from uh, Montreal, the hockey team. We also have a professional soccer team called the Impact, who are pretty good. And um, they play over there, actually. See the Get the the original just because I gotta try it. Yeah, get the original. Never yeah, no, it. I'll just try some Cali. So uh, yeah, here we are at Poutineville, the home of the biggest poutine in Montreal. It's actually 15 pounds. 15 pounds. It's called a heart attack because uh, if you finish it, you might win a heart attack with it. You can't feel pain anymore. Well, if I hang out with you... Okay, so we keep hearing there's a stuff called poutine that we have to eat when we're in Canada, and it's supposedly a classic Canadian dish, and we're at a place called Poutineville, so this is what they do. French Canadian. Sorry, French Canadian. Uh, so, what we got here is, uh, I have the classic, and she wanted to try the basic classic one to see what it's like. Uh, it's basically fries with gravy, and uh, cheese curd and you can get all different types and like exotic types and Callie's got a real exotic one yeah. over there. What'd you get? Like, like you know how like, Eric likes to play it safe like the same way like with his height <laughs> like and boring. like yeah with his footwear and, <laughs> and a small, with, small size. yeah, small sizes <laughs> um, <laughs> you know whereas I on the other hand I like to get a little bit I, more adventurous. Like right. I, I do like the <laughs> So I got the Godfather which has like sausage, red pepper and their sweet potato. Um, is the poutine the actual whole dish, or is like this a poutine? Poutine is just the gravy, the fries, and cheese. Okay, okay, so... That constitutes poutine. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. This looks delicious. So, like, from the Canadian guys, how often do you guys eat poutine? Every day in high school. Every day yeah, in high school? Well, we had it in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Hey, here we are once again 
into an art appreciation here in Montreal. Another episode. Let's do this. Um, the king of the jungle, king of zodiac sign, the lion, and uh, they, they made a funny uh, wordplay there. They said fondu à Lyon, which meant uh, it's um, melted at Lyon in France, and the Lyon in, fr in French means lion in English, so it's pretty funny. And um, as you can see here, you can see the ribs of the lion there, so he's not malnourished, so he needs to eat some uh, some prey, some meat. Uh, maybe it's a vegan lion, like uh, our fellow cameraman Dan, vegan Dan. So maybe that's why he's all green like that. He eat too much uh, like herbs and stuff like that, and now he became like uh, with a chlorophyll. Chlorophyll makes people green, and um, I guess he likes some vitamins. So it's a green vegan lion there. Do not human. See that? Do not human. So make sure you do not human around this statue. And um, it's actually um, a lady dressed in black. And I think she fell in the mud too because her face is black too. And uh, she's holding like, um, like uh, I think it's um, handcuffs made of pearl, pearls or something like that. And uh, she probably ate some of the toxic plants around here and probably dancing like to some hallucinogenic uh, drugs like that, like the hippies used to do in the 60s. You know, take uh, hallucinogenic drugs and dance, like LSD I think they took. Yeah, like a... Like that, you know, thing. Not sure, but make sure you do not human. Here we are, this ancient, peaceful, and uh, wisdom place. I will take the time now today to do some uh, wisdom proverbs for you guys. First proverb. When the river flows red, you may take the dirt road. Second proverb. When you walk the walk and you talk the talk, maybe you should stay home and not talk at all. Part number three. There's all kinds of fishes in the ocean. If you have a very good equipped cane of fishing, you can get a lot of fishes, but make sure you don't get a crab. Let's appreciate those uh, unique limestone here. Calcaire précieux in French. Calcarus ibis parfessus in uh, Latin, maybe. So, uh, when struck, it makes a metallic sound. Looks like tumors from the dirtiest McDonald's eater of the United States. You know, look at this one here. Looks like a big. A big um, cancerous back nugget. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the double hammer, reverse 6 to 9. Hammerhead number one, hammerhead number two. Put the, the handle right there, handle right there, together making love in a reverse way. With um, actually, there's actually a third hammer in there, it's like a hammer threesome, you know? Yeah, isn't very there, oldy hammers. Isn't there a French word for that? Hammer? Marteau. Yeah. Threesome. Ménage à trois. Ta vie n'aura pas de sens, il est ton frère Trop lâche qu'à préférer se brûler à l'essence